From flipping tables to assaulting Andy Cohen to spending time behind bars, it goes without saying that Teresa Judice and Louis Ruelas are no strangers to controversy. Teresa Judice's storyline on The Real Housewives of New Jersey centers around her tumultuous relationship with her brother Joe Gorga and his wife Melissa. She's even capitalized on the estranged relationship in her official season 13 tagline, quipping, Blood may be thicker than water, Love you. but it's harder to clean when it spells. Ever since Melissa debuted as a housewife in season three, the tumultuous relationship between the three has been a point of contention. The drama started as early as 2011, when Judice felt she wasn't as close to Joe after he married Melissa. Joe called his sister garbage following the fallout, and tensions only increased throughout the years. For instance, Judice has referred to her sister-in-law as a gold digger and alleged she cheated on her husband in 2012. However, the drama seemingly died down for a bit after Teresa and her former husband, Joe Judice, were sentenced to prison in 2014 for committing mail, wire, and bank fraud. Nonetheless, after over a decade of tension, the controversy came to a head in 2022. The Gorgas revealed to Us Weekly that they are no longer on speaking terms with Teresa and skipped her wedding to Louis Ruelas. The decision came after they alleged Teresa spread yet another rumor during season 13 that Melissa cheated on Joe Gorga, which she denies. As for Teresa, she told Bravo ahead of the season 13 reunion, I just want to close this chapter and I wish them well. I just want to be happy. Teresa may be a reality television star, but she isn't above the law. She was found guilty after she and her ex-husband Joe were hit with a 39-count indictment, including charges of bank fraud, forged loan applications, and bankruptcy fraud. The pair originally entered a non-guilty plea, but ultimately decided to plead guilty in March 2014. Teresa was sentenced to 15 months behind bars, though she was released in 2015 after 11 months. I missed my house. <laughs> and I missed you. The judge told her at the time of the sentencing, I don't honestly believe that you understand or respect the law. I need to send a message. In the eyes of the law, it doesn't matter who you are. There are consequences to pay. As for Joe, the father of four was sentenced to 41 months in prison. He finished his sentence in three years and was immediately deported back to Italy in 2019. Teresa has said she had no idea of her former husband's fraud. She admitted that her celebrity status landed her a potentially harsher sentence, saying on Bravo's most golden moments power hour, I got used as an example. What's the saying? The good comes with the bad. Meaning, like, because I was on TV, if I was just a regular housewife, I probably wouldn't have went to jail. Just recently, Louis' former fiance Vanessa Reiser, filed a restraining order against him. According to court documents obtained by Page Six, the motion came in June 2023, after she says one of her female patients began to ask intrusive questions about her and Ruelas' former relationship. Reiser works as a licensed therapist in New Jersey, specializing in narcissistic abuse. She began to suspect something was amiss after the patient, under a false name, began to ask questions like, do you still love Louis? And how was it with your abuser? Reiser dated Ruelas from 2018 to 2020, 20, and later sued him following their split. According to court documents, Riser said in the suit, he demanded that I be available for sex whenever he wanted. Riser filed a lawsuit against the fake patient after she failed to make a payment for her sessions. Her attorney, Douglas Anton, was able to track down the patient's real identity and placed her on a list of individuals working for private investigator Bo Dietl. Anton told Page Six that he is unable to confirm that Ruelas hired the woman. He admitted, Right now, Riser is concerned that it was Ruelas behind the woman's visits. And again, I'm going by the questions. He is unhappy in his current situation and wanted to see if Vanessa would ever pay him the time of day. Teresa is a lot of things, but a table-flipping housewife is one that certainly stands out. The star made franchise history as the only woman to ever get so angry that she went Hulk mode in a dinner setting. It all went down in season one of the hit series when Judice ended up in a fit of rage after she got into an argument with former housewife Danielle Staub. Judice said on the Drew Barrymore show, she was like, going after my girlfriend, so I was sticking up for my girlfriend. In the clip of the iconic moment, Staub attempts to clear up rumors about her when she angrily tells Judice, Pay attention, please! Judice then goes on a screaming rant, claiming Staub was allegedly engaged 19 times and calling her a prostitute before flipping the table. It's been over a decade since the incident, but it's still one of the most infamous moments in the Housewives franchise history. Judice looks back on the moment with a good sense of humor, like when she taught Drew Barrymore how to flip a table correctly. These days, she's trying to project a more wholesome some peaceful image of herself. She's even got her Namaste Bitches podcast to prove it. She said on the Drew Barrymore show, I'm trying to work on myself because like, everyone thinks I'm like this mean person from being on the show. I'm like, I'm so numb. 
It's not only flipping tables that Therese is known for. The star got heated during season 10, and it ended with her throwing water at production. The incident began when back-and-forth chatter between the housewives exposed Judice. At the base of the matter were former housewives Danielle Staub and Margaret Josephs, who had an ongoing feud together as castmates. After years of tension, an explosive argument between the two ended with Josephs throwing a drink at Staub and Staub pulling Josephs' hair. During the season 10 finale episode, Melissa Gorga brought up the feud to reveal that Judice had encouraged Staub to pull Joseph's hair. Gorga said that Staub was unsure whether to get physical, but Judice allegedly told her at the time, do it. She was visibly uncomfortable after the incident was brought up. Referring to production, she said, I feel bad. I hope they don't use this. Gorga then said to her sister-in-law, They are going to use it. Judice proceeded to throw her drink and storm off while slamming over a table of cups in her anger. Viewers are rarely offered a glimpse of the blurred lines between cast members and crew. Vice President of Current Production at Bravo, Pamela Jimenez, revealed to The Daily Dish that she felt the scene exposing Teresa was necessary. She said, I think we needed to show the bigger picture in order for the message to be relayed correctly to Teresa. Louis Ruelas may be facing legal troubles with his ex-lover, but that's not the only bind the reality star is in. The businessman's company, Digital Media Solutions, was also sued for harassment in May 2023, according to Us Weekly. The suit was brought by Juanita Williams, who says she received multiple telemarketing calls from DMS and Choice Health Insurance, despite placing herself on a no-contact list. She aims to receive $1,500 per each unsolicited call, claiming Ruelas' company gave Choice Health Insurance her number. Ruelas has been the co-founder and executive vice president of DMS since its founding in 2012. As per the official company website, the business is the leading provider of technology-enabled digital performance advertising solutions connecting consumers and advertisers. Ruelas also came under fire in season 13 for hiring and ghosting housewife Dolores Catania's former stepson. In part two of the season 13 reunion episode, Dolores's ex-husband Frank claimed his son Frankie was working for Ruelas when he closed down the business and failed to inform Frankie. Frank told Joe Gorga. He didn't tell Frankie. Just that Frankie was reaching out, reaching out, called me and said, you know, Dad, what do I do? I've been calling Louie and he won't respond. Fans had a lot to say after getting to know Louie over the course of season 13. In episode 8, the roller coaster of a relationship between Ruelas, his wife, and her brother and sister-in-law took a turn for the worse. The drama began after Ruelas attempted to initiate a peaceful conversation between Teresa, Joe, and his wife Melissa. At the time, Joe and Melissa were upset with Teresa for failing to invite Melissa's family members to her and Ruelas' wedding. As to be expected, the conversation was anything but productive, and ended in Teresa storming off. In episode 14, tensions over the wedding grew further. The drama boiled over when Teresa and Ruelas were informed that the Gorgas would not be showing up to their wedding rehearsal dinner. While sitting at the table and discussing it all with Teresa, he said, Yeah, but you know what it's like for me to be calm in the last three months around an animal like that? No, I know. But I'm not going to lower myself to f***ing trash. Fans were less than thrilled about Ruelas' character. One fan tweeted, Lewis is doing everything in his power to ensure that Joe Gorga can't attend his sister's wedding so Lewis can win and isolate her from her sibling. Lewis is a narcissist and everything is about his ego. Another fan tweeted, Am I the only one who's thinking Louis is the true villain here? If there's one thing viewers have learned throughout the years of Real Housewives of New Jersey, it's to steer clear of Teresa when she's angry. The outspoken Italian has been known to throw things in the past, but it was Andy Cohen who bore the brunt of her anger during the season two reunion episode that aired in 2010. The drama started when Danielle and Teresa got into a heated argument that led to a screaming match. Staub walked away from her castmate after she felt Judice was getting too close to her. Teresa, attempting to get her point across to Danielle, pushed Cohen in her rage as collateral damage. On an episode of Watch What Happens Live, Judice discussed the incident with Cohen and admitted she didn't remember pushing him back in his chair. Despite backlash from fans, Teresa admitted, I don't regret anything I do. As per Cohen, the incident put him on the map. In the tell-all housewives memoir, Not All Diamonds and Rosé by Dave Quinn, he revealed, I was in shock. I didn't see the footage until I saw the first cut of the super tease, and I thought it was hysterical. I watched it 20 times. I couldn't believe it. That summer when it aired, I was in the Hamptons, and when I went back to the city, everybody on the street knew who I was. Since then, Cohen has played Peacemaker during tense reunion tapings for over a decade. Louis found himself in hot water in 2022 after an alleged physical assault from his past came to light. The alleged incident, which took place in 2012, ended with Ruelas pushing his ex-wife Marissa DiMartino into a metal pole. According to police reports obtained by Page Six, after Ruelas dropped off the two children he shares with his ex-wife, the two got into a tense discussion about money. DiMartino ultimately decided not to press charges following the incident. However, it isn't the only time the two were involved in a police dispute. In 2010, before their divorce, Ruelas 
Dennis's ex-wife filed a separate police report over a verbal dispute between the two. She ended up not pressing charges against Ruelas, and no arrests were made in either incident. Andy Cohen asked if there was any truth to Ruelas's checkered past during the season 12 reunion episode. Ruelas responded, We were basically in toxic relationships. When you're in toxic relationships, it could feel emotionally, it felt emotionally abusive to me, Did but you? I'm not going to label it that way. <laughs> he also denied the claims that he was sex-obsessed, according to his ex-partners, but went on to admit to a few incidents that revolved around arguments he had with his wife over their children when they were in the process of getting a divorce. He said, if I'm the only guy in America that basically had arguments with his wife and she walks in the house and calls the police, you know, that's, that's the extent of it. 